I want you to put your hands together and welcome a little baby that is going to be joining me on the stage. It's a miracle story, and I want you to hear about it today. We have a beautiful family with us this morning. Coming up from over here, let's put our hands together and welcome this little baby. You're going to meet her in a minute. <clears throat> she's got the hiccups. That's great. That means she's alive, and we love that. She is with us right here. I want you to welcome this lovely lady right here. Now, here's a deal. You grew up here, and this is mm-hmm. church, Went BCS, and, yeah. and we had it here, and, and all kinds of things, right? Yes. So you have history here, and we know you and all of that. <laughs> but now we're meeting your baby for yes. the very first time. I you, can't believe it. You were expecting, and uh, you had an interesting journey. Yeah, it was a long journey. Um, we were married and were blessed enough to get pregnant right away, which was really exciting. And then at our 12-week ultrasound, we found out it was twins, natural conceived twins, do not run in either of our families. So we were shocked and excited. You know, I never felt that like overwhelming fear. Um, And then we found out at our 20 week ultrasound that it was a boy and a girl. Wow. So I was like, wow, how awesome, like one and done, (laughs) you know? So um, we also found out at that ultrasound that our baby boy, um, his amniotic sac was actually ruptured and he was leaking fluid. So, you know, his lungs, they were worried about his lungs developing and him having enough room to grow. And um, it was quite unsettling for you because that meant you're going to have to spend time in a hospital and yeah. and now you're scared and you're worried. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we went from like so excited yeah. to like that instant fear, which I was lucky enough to have a great pregnancy. So I never really felt that fear. Um, they told me that day, head to the hospital right away and we want to get you in there for a couple days and put you on antibiotics because the biggest thing is mm-hmm. keep away an infection. And then they were like at 24 weeks, um, we're going to ask you to check into the hospital indefinitely until you give birth. Um, That's what they consider, you know, viability, which I think is so sad. It's like before that point. Mm -hmm. It's almost not real to the doctors because there's not much they can do. But um, I remember being so nervous, like just make it four weeks and we made it. And I checked into the St. Luke's Anderson campus, which yeah. they were amazing, but it was, I was going stir crazy. <laughs> and I know where the Anderson campus is. It's down by Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, <laughs> it's right across the street. <laughs> you got to know these important landmarks. Yes, exactly. I and, would just uh, stare at the shopping complex with the Barnes and Nobles and the Michaels across the street, and I couldn't leave well, I was at Texas Roadhouse yesterday. <laughs> yeah. The biscuits. Now you made me hungry. They're so good. <laughs> Come on. Help me out. Anyway, uh, back to our wonderful story here. You then were realizing you're going to have to have a C-section and you're going to have to give birth now. Yeah, so this, we... This is when the story really takes a harder Yeah, turn. I only made it to 26 weeks and four days and I just woke up that day and I felt wrong. I wasn't in pain necessarily, mm. but I just, I knew something was going on. And, um, you know, this whole time when I had checked in, my mom had told me that she was keeping the congregation updated. And I just want to mm. thank anyone who did pray for us. Yeah. Those prayers, knowing that there were people praying for us, they really did get me through my stay. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when two or more are gathered. So I was like, well, if I'm praying and even just one other person is praying for us, like, yep. we're good. Um, I had complete faith. And um, we did an emergency C-section. And I remember my husband, you know, went out to see the babies. And he was like, they're OK. And he's like, Liam's on oxygen. They have the, you know, breathing tube down, but he's okay. Like, and how much did they weigh? Charlotte was one pound, 14 ounces. Wow. And Liam was one pound, 11 ounces. Wow. And now she's about 10 pounds. <laughs> she's a chunker now. Yeah. Hey. But she was always, they were both very long. Um, and unfortunately, you know, they, they did everything they could, but um, Liam just, he just couldn't make it. He was with us for two and a half hours, and then he went home to do Jesus. So. You know, David, when his child that he had prayed for passed, his child is in heaven, and he said, he can't come to me, Yeah. but one day I will go with I him. I know. That's how I feel. I thank I'm God like, for that privilege <laughs> really of hope. Mm-hmm. I said to my husband, like, it sounds so morbid, but I'm like, when one day that happens, like, please don't mourn for me because I'm like so excited to just hold him. You got one over there now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and that's a real draw. I know. And I mean, it was tough. It's almost like, uh, I think in one of your posts, you posted that it was like he was a guardian angel almost. Or yeah. The, so we the found to bring it was here. crazy because we found out after the fact, after the birth, after the delivery, you know, days later that 
had I not gone into labor with Liam, he was the lowest one, so he caused me to go into labor. Um, so I was on the monitors, and at that time, her heart rate dropped dangerously low, which is why we went into an emergency C-section. They were gonna try to keep me pregnant as long as possible. And here, if we wouldn't have done that, her placenta actually detached from the uterus. So the, there's no like pain associated with that, it's just like bleeding, and I was already bleeding from the ruptured amniotic sac, so had we had not been on the monitors at that exact moment, like it's very possible we would have lost her too. Wow. And the nurse, the nurse, the doctor even confirmed it. She was like, Liam kind of saved her life. It's almost like Liam uh, escorted her into this world and then said, I've I done know, what I'm I know, I know, and I hate that that was his journey, yeah. but he wow. definitely needs to be like, I love talking about him because he's still our firstborn son, and I want yeah. everyone to know it's okay to talk about him. Um, and you know, Honestly, once I start, shared my story, I did hear from a lot of people. And there are a lot of people that have been down the journey yeah. somewhere. Yeah, and, and it was almost like you can share. bond over it. Yep. And, thank you. And know that, like, and I said the same thing. I'm like, maybe by sharing this story, if I just touch, like, one person, Absolutely. it's enough for me. And I heard from dozens of people. Well, you're touching people here, and there are people watching. <laughs> we have a lot of people that oh, will be boy. watching today. And you can yeah. go back and watch this because this is okay. recorded. Yeah. You can see it later. And God be with you. We thank God for your wonderful Say baby. bye, Charlotte. Bye. You're a princess. <laughs> thank you all. She's Thank a sweetheart. So God bless you. Sweet. God bless Thank you, Pastor Kevin.